Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of hyper automation and low code, today we discuss one application that is being created by me. We will discuss all the basic things which are needed to create an application, the complete structure of it. Okay, so stay tuned. Let me show you first of all the application which I have created. So the application name is to do. Okay, it is a basic application in which we have two tables and in those two tables the user or the requester need to submit the to-do list and that to-do list will finally uh, reaches to the person who is working on it and get assigned and we are sending notifications as well. You can see here the outcomes of the application a single location where employee can track all the items from home work or any other project. It is used for accurate and timely completion of all the tasks which are necessary. All the notes can be kept easily here and it is automatically doing certain notifications as well. So now let me show you the application. First of all, we have to go to the application engine studio. This is my instance. Just write down app engine studio here. Click on it. So this is how the interface of app engine studio looks like. Here you see all the apps which you have created, you see the templates, you see the resources here and if you want to create a new app, you have to click on it. In my next video, I will create one more app and that we will start directly from here, step by step. Okay, so stay tuned for that as well. So first of all, let's go to the app which is known as Todo. You see, these all are the recent tabs and this is the Todo app. Click on it. So you see the interface is very clear. In order to make an app, we have to have all these things. That is data, experience, logic and automation, finally security. If you want to create a new app, you have to define all these steps one by one. Okay. So first one is data. So what is the use of data here? You see with every application, we generate certain kind of data and that data will go finally into the table. So in data section, we have to create the tables where we are sending the data with respect to the application. So for to do application, we have two tables that is to do and to do project. If you want to create a new table, you can click on this plus sign and then follow the path. But we are not creating a new table at the moment. We are just demoing this particular application. So you see the two tables here. You can preview these tables as well. Click on preview. You see these all are the records which are in the to do list. Okay. And then we have to do project. Let me preview this one as well. You see it has only project names. Okay. So both of these we are using. So once we have the place where the data is stored, then we come to the experience. So experience is nothing but the interface which the user will face. Or you can say this is the very beginning of the app when the user interact with the app. Okay, so how the user interact with the app? The user interact with the app with the help of some kind of record producer, right? With the help of some kind of catalog item, with the help of some kind of table directly. But here we have created one record producer and we have created one mobile experience as well. So what is a mobile experience? It is a kind of interface which is available to the user when he opens the application within mobile. You must heard about now application so the same application interface is the mobile experience because it is a mobile so we have to choose certain limited fields right to show so that's what we did in mobile experience and the second thing is record producer so for all the users who are using the application they have to interact with record producer at the very first time and fill up the request once the data is filled from the record producer, it will transfer to the associated tables which we created here in the data. So once we have the interface or the experience ready, then we have to design the logic. This logic and automation is nothing but the processing of the data. It means what actually you are going to do with that data, what actually you are going to automate. So for automation, we have two things that is flow as well as for notification, we have a notification. So you see, we have used both here. So we have created a reminder email flow. And then we have created notifications as well. So let me click on reminder email. It is open here. So this is how the flow looks like. 
we already discussed about the flows in our previous videos if you want to see it you can find it on the channel like what is flow how to use the flow how to use different different activities in the flow so what is the function of this flow it is automatically sending reminder emails to all the assignees okay so what it is doing it is triggering on daily basis at around 1 am so let me click on it you see here in this action it is looking for records from this to do table where send reminder field is true and due date is tomorrow let me show you the table this is the table right this is the to do table let's preview it you see we have a send reminder field and due date fields right so based on the data from to do table that is the records where send reminder is true and due date is tomorrow and then finally once all these records are available it is sending email to each one of that you see for each right it is setting to it is setting subject it is setting a body everything is set here so basically just sending the reminder emails so that the assignee will get the notification and do the work as soon as possible without any delay based on your requirement you can go much more deeper you can add n number of flows you can add n number of tables experience and logic and automation you have to understand the intent of the application you have to understand who is the end user who is finally getting benefited once you have all such basic questions with you then only you will be able to create a proper architecture of a particular application the last thing which is left here is security security is nothing but all the roles which are available to access this particular application you can add a number of roles or you can modify the existing roles as well right now it is not accessible because we are not a security admin once you get uh, the security admin here you will be able to add new roles in this particular application so now let's go and demo the application let's go to service catalog go to can we help you you see create a to do item this is the record producer which we have created open it my requests select the project type you see this is a reference field the second table which we discussed that is to do project is providing the data here so this is for my work how much important is this this is uh, important okay when does this need to be done this is the due date here so i want it to be done by 26th and would you like to get the reminder yes i would like to do that click on submit so as soon as i click submit you see a new to do record is created here and this is created under this table so let me open this table go to the application that is to do application you see this is the to do application assigned request let me open the one which we have created is my request right so this is how the to do list gets submitted here any user can do it and and based on the reminder email flow this one at daily 1 am the reminders will be sent accordingly along with reminder email flow we have created one more email as well let me open this notification and this notification is for assignee okay you see notification for assignee who is the assignee here in my case it is abraham so whoever get assigned to my to do item he will be getting a initial notification of assignment this is what we have configured here this is the notification for assignment so this is how we set up the notification it is similar to the one which we have our daily day to day basis from uh, like uh, notification table okay you have to add recipient you have to add email content if you have any template you have to select here otherwise subject or email body if you want to use the value directly from the form you have to use dollar here you all know all these things right so this is how we set up a particular app these are the four main pillars of an app we discussed each and every one of these pillars why this is important why we are configuring it and how to configure it in our next video we will create a app directly from scratch in that case i will not explain all these pillars one more time but we have to create each pillars and then create an app
okay so stay tuned thank you so much bye bye